Um, as you can see, I am sitting on my newest piece of equipment here. I am crazy excited about this. I have wanted a Concept2 rower for quite some time. Um, so the concepts, like they're basically like the rower mach rowing machine. And um, you know, there, there are different, there are some other uh, companies that make rowers and there's different kinds of rowers. Um, the concepts are the fan rowers. They also have um, rowing machines that actually are liquid, that you're rowing actual liquid. And there are, um, there are rowers that I believe are magnetic. Um, and there's the ones that like you just kind of sit on and you row your body. Uh, there's those ones too. But Concept makes the fan, the fan rower. And um, they, what, one thing that's really exciting about these uh, concepts in particular is that they are made right here in Vermont. They're made in Morrisville, Vermont, which is actually where my mom's family is from. It's pretty exciting. I saw some family over there. Um, and so that's pretty cool. I did not actually know that until I was looking into buying one of my own. Um, I was on the wait, there you have a wicked wait list right now. I was on the wait list, but I actually found this rower. Um, someone was selling it and it was basically brand new and I jumped on it. Um, so I otherwise wouldn't have gotten this till probably like October or November or something like that. But, um, yeah, so I've been using rowing machines since college. I was really into it in college and I was actually, <laughs> I had, um, more than one person from the rowing team, the collegiate rowing team, uh, approach me and ask me if I wanted to join the team. And I, uh, I declined at the time. I was more into sleeping than <laughs> doing sports. I just wanted to go to the gym and sleep in and do my thing. And for the rowing team, you had to get up at like 5 a.m. and I was not into that. So that's why I did not do the rowing team in college, even though I was actually asked to join by a couple of members. Um, so I just want to give like a quick, um, you know, a quick tutorial on how to actually use the rower. Because you see people oftentimes, um, you know, you'll see people like just kind of doing it really fast and, and it, one, it's not terribly good for the rower and two, it doesn't do what you want it to do for your body. The rowing machine, um, it is a very, very good full body workout. I think it is second only to swimming in that regard. It's low impact and it's full body. One of the best full body workouts you can get. Um, and it works um, often, it, you know, it, it works primarily the posterior chain, the back muscles, the backs of the legs. Um, and that's something that a lot of people don't, you know, it, it's often not thought about. So, um, yeah, it's just a really good all around uh, activity really. So like I said, low impact and full body, and you can't really get much better than that. So take the handles and you're going to start forward, obviously, because you, I mean, you're not going to start back there because the handles in the front. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you do legs, arms, and then you go, you go back, you, you, push with your legs, then pull with your arms, and then you kind of go back all together. Um, so I'll give a quick demonstration here. So often you'll see people doing this. And that's not really, you want it to be one long fluid motion, so you're gonna Push with your legs, then pull back with your arms. Push with your legs, pull back with your arms. And then you're going to let your arms and your legs kind of come back together. Um, now, one thing that this machine can be 
a little bit tough on is your lower back. So you want to make sure that you do have your at your core engaged through the entire motion. Um, and if you feel it in your low back, don't go back so far. Keep, keep it more upright. And like I said, um, it's you're working with resistance. So going faster isn't necessarily going to um, make it better. It's not going to necessarily help you to, you know, burn more calories or whatever on it. You want it to be, you want to concentrate more on it being smooth and um, rhythmic than just fast. And because either way, you're going to get your heart rate up. Um, and either way, it's going to be a workout, but you'll actually, you'll get a better workout if you do it more slowly and concentrate on the muscles that you're using um, to pull, to pull the, uh, the handle. So that is pretty much, that's pretty much the rowing machine. There, it, it, there's a little bit of, like I said, there is a little bit of a learning curve with it, getting the motion just right. Um, and the only other, you know, just practice, the only other piece of advice I can give is, like I said, if you feel it in your lower back, don't go back so far. Keep your body a little bit more upright. And uh, yeah, I love, you know, I love this machine. And it's, yeah, it's my favorite second, like I said, my favorite activity second only to swimming. So, <clears throat> That is a quick tutorial on the concept to <laughs> rowing machine. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out a little bit. Um, if, uh, yeah, so please, <laughs> I'm a little kind of all over the place this morning. <laughs> so um, please uh, share this video <laughs> if you enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook at Westfold Health and Fitness. You can find me on Instagram at Westfold underscore health underscore fitness. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Um, it's a little chilly here in Vermont today. Gosh, it's, I mean, it's really, it's feeling like fall and it's still August. We still have August for two more days. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, have a great one. And uh, I will see you all on Wednesday for a new video. Hopefully it will be with Erica. We'll see what, if we can uh, coordinate. Um, if not, I'll do something different. But uh, I hope you all have a good one. Bye.